Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla.com, and in this video, we're going to break down the brand new for 2011 Olympia AST2 jacket. This is the successor to the extremely popular four season original. Olympia AST jacket. And the big thing you're going to notice on this, and this is really how Olympia in the last decade has put itself on the map, they have been one of the first companies to really embrace the high-vis colorways, which are so safety forward. And my favorite thing about this next generation, or my favorite two things, the AST2 is going to breathe much better than the original AST did. And honest to God, I'll tell you, in the grand scheme of all of the domestic and European brands that we carry here at Revzilla, the color blocking on this looks phenomenal. It's, my, it's one of my favorite features of this, is you get a ton of high vis, but the way that it's put together looks great. I mean, in the past, you want as much high vis as you can handle because it's going to give you that much more ability to be seen, to be visible, commuting, everyday riding, long distance touring, in all in night, during the day. But with this color scheme, you're getting a good mix of it, but it's nice, it's, it's styled really well. It's got a nice line. There's a women version of this jacket as well, the AS22 Ladies. And this guy basically at 329 bucks comes in three colors. You're gonna have a pewter, you're gonna have a blue, and then you have your high-vis yellow. Now I guess sticking with the high-vis side of things, let's talk about the increased reflectivity on this guy as well. Notice the piping. It's gonna go up the shoulder and down the arm, and then also if you come in really tight, we have these micro-reflection panels on both sides, which is a woven, it's a woven reflectivity that has its own, you know, we've seen big tape areas, and they're even, I believe on the back, here, flip backwards for me, Patrick. Show the back really quick. Notice these big areas. They're great, but it's just a different style with that mic reflection on the front. Notice staying with the same theme on the back here. Again, reflective piping. It's 3M Scotchlight. It's brand name stuff. It's going to be durable, reflect extremely well, and it's going to and it's going to last. So come back around for me. The other thing that you need to know about the AST if you're new to Olympia or new to this jacket, so for $329, you're getting a four season jacket. AST stands for all season touring. So what does that mean? Inside this jacket, you have a waterproof, breathable membrane. So that is sandwiched. It's built to the outer shell. So the waterproofing is not removable on this guy. You have your DuPont Cordura 500D, 2000D in impact area, outer shell, and right behind it you have the waterproof breathable membrane. It's not going to allow any outside precipitation in, rain, sleet, snow, but what it does, being that it's a breathable membrane, it has tiny pores that allows your body to sweat and allows water vapor in the form of sweat evaporating from your skin to permeate and breathe out through the garment, out through that membrane. So it keeps you from getting cold and clammy over time if you're in active riding conditions. Now, if we talk about four season, let's start with the ventilation on this guy. So you say, okay, it's a heavy duty DuPont Cordura, at 502,000, you're going to have three-quarter length coverage on this guy. It's going to be suited for, for all season. Let's talk about the summer ventilation options. They've beefed up the ventilation on this guy for, for the uh, 2011 AST2 version. So the first thing you're going to notice, it's a new pocket configuration. So these pockets open up here or these flaps rather, and what you have is a double piece of Velcro that goes over top of a waterproof zipper. All YKK zips, open this guy up, there's a vent panel, and that vent panel is gonna, it's gonna flow air directly to the skin. So there is a thermal liner in this guy that comes out for the winter time. Pull that thermal liner out, and even though you have this outer shell that has the waterproofing built in, the way that they seam tape this guy means that you can put a vent in that'll vent directly to the body. There are some other guys out there that have built a similarly styled non-removable waterproof liner jacket, but when you vent, it vents to the liner, which kind of has that, that cooling effect over the whole liner. This is gonna vent directly to the body. So what you do with these front chest vents, is you'd open it up and then you'd fold it over to keep it in place. There's that double piece of Velcro. So it's gonna make sure that this guy stays open for you and you have it on both sides. Open it up, fold it over, open up your waterproof zipper and you're good to go. And what you can even do is you can cinch this guy down and really ensure that it stays open. So in the dead of summer, you're gonna flow a ton of air. So moving on from that, you also have this flap up here, storm flap over a shoulder height Basically a shoulder to forearm zip. Again, YKK zippers, waterproof zipper underneath. You can open this guy and fold it back. Now this is really one of those substance over style type deals because you notice when all the flaps are open, you know, you have a little bit of extra fabric hanging, but it's built in such a way that you want to crease this guy, you want to fold it back, you want to make sure that when you're opening that long distance arm vent that goes all the way down, you're flowing air directly to the skin. The fact that it's a waterproof zipper with an extra flap that goes over top of it ensures that you have the best chance to keep water away from that zipper. Zippers are always a weak point. Unless you're using scuba zips, which we haven't seen very many people do at all. You know, 
at an, for an extended period of time with constant precipitation at a high pressure against a zipper, it can leak. So what you're doing is you're giving yourself that extra flap which folds down over time and does that. So let's talk about exhaust. We talk about intake, intake through the front. It's gonna be on the arm zip. It's gonna be on the chest panels. Turn backwards for me, Patrick. On the back, you have two huge back exhaust ports. So actually, I have my zipper down on this side. And what, what I have here, so I'm pull this guy back. Again, the double Velcro, flap within a flap. And actually, turn 45 degrees that way for me. I want you to come in here tight. I want you to be able to see it's mesh back. Again, zips directly to the body. So again, it's, it's, it is a selling point. As you start to do your research on waterproof, breathable, built-in liners and outer shells, there's a floating liner system, and then there's a seam-taped cut liner system which allows you to have these panels that vent to the body and you're basically engineering those vents around the waterproof breathable liner and sealing it in there so that you don't have to vent just directly to the liner with it, which isn't effect as effective in cooling. So let's sit on the back here for a little bit and I'm going to show you one of the upgrades over the AST1 versus the 2. So on the AST2 they've added this neoprene roll which creates a great seal around the neck, which is a high collar. And what that's gonna do is two things. One, that neoprene roll is gonna be comfortable, it's not gonna chafe, but having that high collar creates a barrier with a neck roll on your helmet, and it's actually gonna do a good job of keeping the wind noise a little bit a little bit more down than a shorter collar as well. So much wind noise comes from the whistling, the turbulence of air that flows underneath your helmet in between your collar. So I talked about the scotch light across the top, scotch light across the back. If you come in here tight, you can see that 2000 denier in Vista or DuPont Cordura that runs the length. Coming down to the elbow, I mean, this is a good time to get into the protection on this guy. You're gonna have CE rated shoulder armor comes with a jacket, CE rated elbow armor. You're also, this is one of the nice features at 329 bucks, you don't need to upgrade the back armor on this guy. The back armor on the AST2 is gonna be CE level two included with the jacket. We do sell some other brands that give you a couple different options. It might be a, a Knox armor or a Sastec armor. This is gonna have a flex armor, CE rated, or level two, that's gonna come with the jacket, so you're really good to go there. As we move down, we, we talked about three quarter length. It's a great touring length coat, all season functionality have soft inserts, a temper foam that's built into the waistband here, and you're also going to have a waterproof rabbit pouch here on the back. So notice it's a lined pocket, the zipper is part of the flap, and it's big enough to be useful. We do see some pockets on some other gear. Sometimes they tend to be a little bit small, they're less usable, big pockets here. And as I mentioned, I mentioned the vent on this side, obviously there's another vent on this side as well. Turn back and face the camera for me, Patrick. Now let's talk about fit and adjustability. Olympia put themselves on the map from doing high vis, but also American cut. A lot of Europeans out there, that, or a lot of European brands that make a very svelte or athletic cut that, that's great for a touring rider or somebody who's in phenomenal shape. Well, Olympia said, you know, we're a North American brand. We're based out of North Carolina. We want to cater to a mix of size range, not just the guy who's built like an athlete, even still into his 50s. So what they've done, they've given a lot of adjustability to this guy. Starting with the arms, you know that there's a cinch here. Cinch on the inside of the forearm to allow you to keep that armor in place. If Patrick lifts his arm here, you're gonna see the side belt cinch, which goes around the front. Double cinch on both sides. Turn and face that way for me, Patrick. And if you look, you can see this belt comes all the way to the back, and you also have this gusset, which comes along the hip. So if you're a little bit bigger down here on the sides, you have the ability to open that guy as well. Let's turn back for me. The thing I want to note about this waist belt is that whether you have a thin waist or a big waist, you know, the Olympia AST2 will accommodate somebody up to 300 pounds. That's what Olympia tells us at least. The nice part, we know for a fact, so many of our customers come into the store, they try this stuff on compared to the European stuff. You have eight inches of adjustability, depending on whatever size fits your chest, fits your shoulders, you're still going to have that eight inches, you know, front to back here in the front by a bit, by by being able to adjust the circumference around the waist, which is a nice adjustability factor. Moving into some of the features on these guys, some of the other features, waterproof pockets from the top. You also have hand warmer pockets down here along the side. You know, we already talked about the new collar system. I do want to mention there's a fold back on the collar now. So for summer months, if you like to ride with the collar flapped open, you can. And also this is a new feature on the AST too. So in years past on the original AST, what you had was a jacket that did a great job up here at the neck, but it didn't have the range of adjustability for either a thin neck or somebody who had a muscular or a bigger neck. So what they've done, which is a really nice feature, is they've extended this Velcro panel so that you can really cinch this guy down 
or if you have a bigger neck, you have further adjustment here. I mean, I got to believe my neck, I don't have a huge neck. I'm about a 17 because I spend a little bit of time trying to stay in shape in the gym. But if you had an 18 plus neck, you'd probably still be able to fit in this guy. And obviously the size of the neck at the top end is going to go up with the size of the jacket. So let's talk jacket sizing. Patrick's about 160, he's about 5'9". Patrick's wearing a size medium. You have to realize this stuff is going to fit very generously. And then when you take the liner out of it, it's going to be even bigger. So make sure when you're checking out the size chart for either a man or a woman, you take into account that there's adjustability and you really look at your frame and see what the best size for you is. The sizing on this stuff's going to be basic. It goes off of suit sizes. Um, we tend that it's actually a lot easier to size people in the Olympus stuff than it tends to be in some of the Euro brands that we carry. Last thing I want to talk about, I want to talk about this rain gutter here on the front. It's a double snatch, they are double double snap. They also call it a double placard closure here. I'm going to open up the first set of zips, and you're going to notice that underneath here, you have to remember the waterproof breathability is built into the shell. So when you have your main connection zipper that you basically can't close, that double flap closure is going to keep, it's going to give you the best chance of keeping any water away from that connection zipper. Zippers, whether they're YKK, unless they're a Riri zipper, which is that scuba zip that has the gaskets, which are insanely expensive, they're always going to be a weak point. So if you have this double fly system here, this rain gutter that this extra snaps to snap all the way down. Patrick, I'm going to open this guy up to expose the main connection zipper. It's going to give you the best chance of keeping water away. You notice I'm going to open this guy up. You see the liner here exposed, which I'm going to pull in a second. So now that we have the uh, ASD2 off of Patrick, we're going to kind of take it apart and gut it a little bit on the table, show you what the insides look like. Some of the other features I want to hit on as we move through this, it's a little bit tough to do with Patrick. Notice the collars on these guys, both the thermal liner, which is removable, as well as the outer shell. We're going to have that micro fleece liner. It's wicking. It's very soft. You have, like I said, that neoprene rec neck roll, which are going to keep you from chafing. But again, it's just a comfort feature. As these brands and as Olympia iterates and improves and listens to customer feedback, the features that become standard on all of their next generation jackets really get baked in are really quality and comfort centric. So you're going to have that nice neoprene liner here, that micro fleece. You also have it on the bottoms of the cuff. So if I pull, come in here tight over here, again, neoprene, comfort lined at the uh, thermal liner. So this is what's going to be against your skin. I notice it's stretchy enough. It's going to provide a good seal. Nothing's worse than having a thermal liner or the wind water liner. You know, this guy only has one liner, but having it be a weak point so that air is flowing up your sleeve. You want to be able to create a great seal from the elements. And it comes much more into play in the colder times of the year, but that's why you're buying this jacket. You're buying true four season functionality. You know, to talk a little bit about where the uh, AST2 falls in the food chain. You know, from here, the step up, the big, the big brother in the entire Olympia lineup is much more adventure focused. It's going to be called the Xmodo, and that has a, it's four season, but has um, some mesh panels on it while still being waterproof. But that has two drop liners. And then, you know, I wouldn't say a step down, but really that three to four season jacket that has more mesh, which may perform better in the summers. You know, check out the new Moab, and then underneath that, you're going to have the uh, Air Glide 3, which is more of a lightweight three season jacket with a lot of mesh as well. So here's your thermal liner that can be worn standalone. You know, we showed Patrick in it earlier. You have thermal quilted liner, DuPont Thermalite. It's going to perform really well, but it's going to pack small. Double this zipper system to get this guy out. So let's pull it here. And again, YKK throughout here. I'm going to reach into the cuff. It's a single Velcro closure at the bottom here, but it's done in such a way with a stretch panel. So you know it's not going to wear out. You know it's going to pull, not going to pull. It's Velcro. It, it, it allows for some range of motion because a lot of guys that were going to be riding enduro are really trying to stretch the functionality of this guy. You're going to want that things aren't fixed. You know, these jackets are not meant for static riding. You can do them, they'll perform extremely well in static riding when you're just kind of taking it easy. But if you're really active, if you're really going to put it through its paces, it's going to perform well at a high level of functionality. So, again, fleece lined or it's that microfiber lined on the cuff. And the way this cuff is designed, it's a big enough cuff with this stretch gusset here that you can go over or under a glove. So really it's up to your riding position, your preference, whether you're three quarter or you're upright, depending on if you're wearing a full se all season gauntlet or a short cuff glove or a medium cuff glove that you want to go under, you can do that with this jacket, no problem. So I've unzipped both sides. I have one more pull tab up. It's already done here at the top that would go to the neck loop. I'm going to pull this guy out. Your waterproofing is not part of this liner. I'll say it again. Your waterproofing is built into the jacket. It's not removable. This is just your thermal. So wintertime riding, bang, your thermal goes in. But for waterproofing 
as well as windproofing that's built into the system. Now, if we look at the guts of this guy, you're going to have different types of pockets. You notice the mesh here in the panels that are going to flow air. You have a double suspender style jeans loop as well as a short connection zipper. I didn't mention it before when Patrick was wearing the jacket, but we had him in a new Ranger 3. That would be the appropriate pant to pat, to mer to pat to match with this. And then on the women's side, if you're wearing a women's AST2, you'd go with the Pro Max 2, which is their new pant. Cinching across the bottom here. Let's talk about the protection. We talked about the Cordura on the exterior and the 2000D Cordura in the impact zones and the elbows. Here's going to be your built-in armor. This is your elbow forearm. It's comfortable. It's CE rated. It has some flex to it. It's articulated enough. It's going to be basic, but it's going to be functional and protective from Olympia. And then here's your CE2 back protection that comes with the jacket. So it passes the CE2 standard, or it's not CE2, but it's CE for back protecting, which is a higher degree of standard. You know, they measure armor in elbows and shoulders as how much energy they absorb. They measure back protection in jackets in how much energy in kilonewtons it transfers to your body. So it's a different type of measurement, and this protection is CE rated for the back. It's going to work well there as well. So we talked about fit, we talked about the food chain, we talked about where this guy lives. You know, extra features, some upgrades, waterproof pockets. It's going to do a lot of things. True four season breathability, wearability. You know, I didn't talk about the laser welded reflective patches, but they have them too. If you have any questions about this jacket, there's a lot of jacket here for 329 bucks. Shoot us a line at revzilla.com at 877-792-9455 or cs at revzilla.com via email. As always, it's over 39 bucks. We are absolutely going to ship it for free. If you need to make a size exchange, fire it back to us. We will send you the uh, exchange on our dime as well. And as with anything over 100 bucks at RevZilla.com, we are going to allow you to earn money towards your next order by way of TeamZilla Cash, which is our loyalty program that helps you save money in the long run. So you can find this guy, the AST2, at RevZilla.com slash Olympia, new for 2011. Thanks for watching RevZilla TV today. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.